growing up, I wanted to play uh, football or either soccer. Um, through my eighth grade to seventh grade year, I thought I was going to play soccer, to be honest. And then about when we moved here, it was kind of a decision that it would be a good place to play for my dad. My very first football memory was a Southern Miss scrimmage, and one of my dad's receivers caught a touchdown, and the goalpost had a pad. And then after the scrimmage, I wanted to be like him, but they took the pad off, and I took my little football, and I ran as fast as I could, and I went doink, went right into the pad, and knocked myself out. So that was my first football memory. That's the biggest hit I've still ever taken. You know, last year I was just playing quarterback, and I, you know, Matt took most of the reps. I was, I was on the field some, but now I'm on the field all the time, and it's a lot of running, but you know, soccer helped that. So it's just fun being out there and competing. So he gets a good, he gets, he gets maybe a good workout every day, but that's that's good for him. You know, he's he's used to running a lot with the sports he grew up playing, so it's probably hard for him, but um, he can handle it, so it's good for him. So he, he kind of has to handle both meetings. So he has to, he gets, he, he meets with the quarterbacks and the receivers and then has to spend some extra time just meeting with me. But, uh, you know, he's going to be a football coach when he, when he's done. So it's nothing but a positive all the way around. You know, that's probably the one sport that maybe I missed more than any other sport. You know, I always saw him when he was growing up, I saw him play all his basketball games. Pretty much most of his life I saw him play most of his soccer games, but I missed some of football. So it's just nice to have him out there every day, you know, and, and coaching them every day. And it's just good to be around them. So it's, it's, it's a very good deal.